Jason here, Clear Creek Farm. How are we doing today? Today, I'm going to bring you a quick video on how to ban goats and how we go about doing it. So, first thing you want to do is get some castration bands. You can get them from Tractor Supply, Farm and Home, whatever farm store is around you, or you can order them on Amazon. Um, I will leave a link down in, below for our Amazon store. You want to every year, I don't care if you use one band out of this bag or if you use the whole bag of them in a year. Every year you want to go get a brand new bag of these bands. I don't care what anybody says that you can use them over and over and over every year until they're gone. Waste the four dollars five dollars whatever it is go get you a brand new bag of these bands because one of these being cracked or whatever else because they, you carried them over for years and years will cost you an animal because they won't they won't cut off the circulation to the testicles like they should and then you have a dead animal because either they get an infection they get uh, tetanus Something like that. So just take it from somebody that had a bad experience probably four or five years ago and just buy a new bag. It's worth every dollar of it. And like I said, it's four or five bucks. That's all. We just used the small applicator um, for goats. Like I said, you can get them at Farm and Home, Tractor Supply, whatever kind of farm store you have around from you. Um, Amazon. Uh, has these as well so all you need that's what you need like I said this is a brand new bag we only got I think five that we're gonna castrate this year went out to the store the other night and bought bought a new bag of these because we buy a new bag every year ever since that incident happened um, yeah so it's worth every penny so basically you end up putting that castration band on here there's four little prongs you'll open this up like that slide the testicle through and make sure both of them are on there release that off take this off and about two to three weeks they will all dry up, the bag will, and they will fall off. I'm going to show you. I'm going to go grab this one that needs to get uh, castrated and go from there. This boy here, I bet you he's pushing about 50 pounds or so. He is, I think, five weeks, maybe six weeks old. He was a triplet on a uh, percentage dough we had. But he's the only one actually on mom. So he has plenty of milk to be gotten. So this boy is huge. And you can tell. But now let's, I'll show you how I do it here. Um, I like to get them up on their butt like this. Because they calm down. They're almost like a sheep or something like that. They start calming down, and we got we got his testicles down here. When you go to put this on, you don't want to go too high and get it, any of his uh, nipples here. We'll open this up. This guy here, I'd like to do these a little sooner, but as you can see, they slide, slid right in there. I got both of them, one and two. Make sure we got them pulled down. That band's not up too high. We set that down. We pop them off. We confirm that both of them are inside the bag. We don't have none of his nipples caught and he is ready to go. Next couple days, next couple days he will walk a little weird. But other than that, really won't even tell that he was castrated probably tomorrow will be the worst of his days and then after that you'll never even know back in with mom 
And you see, goes right back to drinking if mom will let him. I don't know how much milk the mama's still letting him get. Like I told, said, he's only about six weeks old. Um, she might be weaning him off a little earlier uh, just because he's getting so big. He still gets under there and gets what he needs. Hope that helped you guys out. Like I said, make sure you go buy new bands because when you don't, you might have a problem. Um, there's people that say they never get new bands until they run out. I recommend spending the $4, $5, whatever it is, getting a new set of bands every year and not have the chance of having a problem. We do have a way through Shopify to get merchandise. I know from time to time we get people that ask us about merchandise. So I will leave a link down in the description for our Shopify account that has all our merchandise on there um, for Clear Creek Farm. Um, I announced the winner of the kidding bucket uh, earlier this week. So go back and watch that video if you have it. If you are the winner, get with me because you got two weeks to get with me. Mm -hmm.